Hey guys, Daniel James here, and um, what I want to show you in this video is uh, something I get asked quite a bit: is how do you automate uh, features and you know dials and effects and stuff within Contact? Um, it's quite simple. Not many people know how to do it, though, which is a shame. So uh, I'll show you how you can be quite creative with it as well. So uh, let's take uh, String Ensemble Sustain here from Symphobia, which sounds like this. Playing on the MIDI keyboard. And uh, I'll just load, uh, push this little wrench thing, open it up, and let's have a look. So let's go down here to the effects section. What I'm going to do is put a, uh, a filter on it. For now, I'm just going to put the a low pass filter. And then what I, what I want to do is, um, as you can see, if I load up my automation panel here, you can see that in contact, there's no automation. All you have to do, this is really simple, you click over here on auto, and you'll get loads of numbers saying not assigned. You click on the number, you drag it to the dial you want to control, and that's it, it's done. If I come over here to the automation panel now, cut off string ensemble sustain, and that is attached to this here. Now all I need to do is set up an automation panel, panel automation um, line in uh, Ableton Live. That's done by loading the automation up on here, and then creating your automation path here. Just have a nice line like this and now if i hold um if i push play hold a chord and you can see how this works nice and simple and of course that can be applied to absolutely uh, any dial within this including uh, the tune dial, for example. So while that's opening, I'll have it tune up and then tune down, tune up, and then tune down. It's gonna sound a little bit crazy now, a little bit crazy, probably terrible, but uh, let's give it a go. Not the best setup in the world, but uh, that is how you automate. Um, that is how you automate parameters. That's the word I was looking for. That is how you automate parameters within contact. Uh, cheers for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoy this nice little short video. Thanks very much. Bye bye.